It's your day. Hey, out of the way. Get up, kid. Something alarming, troubling, and weird is going on. Sarah Silverman started a new video podcast, just like Whitney Cummings, like all these other people. Podcast are the new Twitter now. If you speak online, you must have a podcast invading my territory. Okay. But they will never be me. Let's go to Sarah's Twitter. Let's just show you some numbers. Sarah Silverman has 12.5 million followers and you see some guys at the bring back Sarah Silverman hasn't been relevant and well she's very relevant online every day she's interacting with people and people follow her and 12.5 million people when she tweets something they get 7,000 retweets here's one uh 1.3 thousand likes okay all this stuff but 12.5 million followers did you pull up her Instagram here look at this uh, let's see her Instagram, 1.9 million followers. And she starts this podcast. There is a link in her bio. 1.9 million people have access to this link in her bio. She posted her podcast announcement here. Three episodes are up to keep you company this weekend. Link in bio. Sarah Silverman podcast. Um, Five days ago. And uh, 15,000 likes. Where do you say, oh, 15,000 likes on this. So, okay. So let's go to the podcast YouTube page that she links and see what's going on. This is alarming. Sarah Silverman with 1.9 million on Twitter or 1.9 million on Instagram, 12.5 million on Twitter. She picked up a whopping 1.3 thousand subscribers in seven days of heavy promoting. How What's is that going even on? possible? How is this possible? What's going on? And I watch people and bring back, yeah, Sarah Silverman's nothing. That's because she sucks. Well, again, she gets the numbers everywhere else. Interesting. Why aren't they coming to her podcast? No one else. I mean, just numbers alone. You could be Joe Matarese, if he had these numbers, would get more than this. This just doesn't add up, and it even gets worse. The episode number one, it's been out since October 8th, has 3,000 views. 3,000. 15,000 people hit like on the damn link when it was promoted. Why only 3,000 views? What's going on? I mean, Whitney's podcast just came out like a year ago or whenever it was, and she had hundreds of thousands Guys, of viewers it's on the not first bots, episode. Bots, bots. People are going, it's bots, it's, she has fake followers. It's not. Go in the comments. She has over 3,000 comments. Look at this. If you go to the announcement here, it has 353 comments. I mean, well, I mean, maybe it is. Uh, I think that's too easy. I think something else is going on here. Uh, let's take a look. What time codes do we have here? You're not going to believe this podcast. It's alarmingly <laughs> dreary. I've never. She's like a whole different person. She's mean. You know, we've watched these people. You see Sarah Silverman and you see Kumail Nanjiani and you see uh, what's her name? The nudist one, the blonde, uh, the activist blonde lady. Amy comedian. No, comedian. Uh, uh Fuck the fucking Chelsea Nate, Handler. Chelsea Handler. Sorry. And you go, they're so mean and vindictive online with this Trump stuff. But at least in the past, when we saw them on TV shows, they tucked away that weird vindictive depression and they at least were themselves on TV shows. That has stopped. Sarah is in a dark, dark place. And if her friends aren't going to get her help, we will. Let's watch the Sarah Silverman podcast. This is scary. It's the Sarah Silverman podcast. We don't have a theme song yet, so this will have to do. That doesn't work anymore. That was funny in 1996, that kind of humor. This now is fully cringe. Talking to you, Sarah Silverman podcast. Ooh. She's filming in the same studios as Eric Hwartz Weinstein. <laughs> Do you know Wartz? W E I G H U A R T Z. Eric <laughs> Hwartz 
Weinstein, he does his show. What is it called? The Portal? You know who else does their show out of this shitty studio? Nick Vial from The Bachelor. He's poison. Isn't this Cast Media Studios? I think it might they be. They own new studios, Cast Media, okay, who also runs Joe Rogan's show and Fighter and the I don't Kid. Think Joe Rogan. Okay, Joe Rogan. It's so confusing how to follow it. Impulsive uses Cast Media, okay? Um, really weird that they can't put on these podcasts themselves. Why are they letting these companies take the money? She's sitting in the same chair. Usually, why this... would someone like her want to do a podcast with a company? Like, isn't it easier for exactly. her to just do it? Do herself? it on your own. She's a millionaire. Somebody came up with a good one. Let's give this guy thirty-five USD. The Wardle. <laughs> Eric Weinstein's The Wardle. Very Remove nice. the words. I said it looks like he shot himself several times with a uh, a BB gun inside the mouth, like he was trying to blow his brains out, and they just went. Bing! And did you know that he edited all of his warts out of the main picture of his did he podcast? Really? I think I saw Xander post something like that in the BBG where there was... Just get the laser. That. This guy dyes his hair jet black, but has eight giant whopping warts. Get the warts removed. How hard could this be to get those removed? <laughs> we'll give you the two weeks downtime for recovery. Get the warts removed. I'll pay for the service myself. Dr. Linder, Dr. Stuart Linder... <laughs> Do you know him? He's wonderful. Let's go to Sarah Silverman. You're not going to like this. Yes. Uh. Hi, everybody. It's me, Sarah Silverman. <laughs> um, Never has Silverman sounded so Silverman-y than just there. Hi, it's me, Sarah Silverman. She's really turning into the temple's worst patron. Uh, let's see what we got here. You want to smoke a little ganja with me? Can I get a little ganja song? Just type in ganja or something to Spotify. Let's get some cool smoking music here. You know who's disgusting? Jim Carrey. Yikes. But you know what I realized? <laughs> oh, what was that? Was that you? Why did you just say that? Because he used to say smoking when he was oh. the mask. <laughs> you got me some ganja music playing? Hit it. Let's hear it. Yeah, man. Welcome to Red Bar, the only show that sucks this shit down, this shmi. Let's do one. Here you go, folks. Do one with me. Why not? Fucked up, bro. It was way too big for me. You're crying. Yeah. Oh my gosh. Da ding 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 ding. Did you hear that guy? Oh, I'm gonna be fucked the fuck up, bro. <laughs> oh, there was a lot of smoke. Oh, look at this woman. This is how she opens her show. Look at this. This is what I do when I'm joking around as the Jew on Halloween. This looks like me as the Jew. Do you ever see that? Look at her. This is how she opens her show. Hello, everybody. I mean, is there any... She looks like she just came from a Jewish funeral. For real. A Jewish funeral where only headphones are worn. So, psychotic. Let's watch some choice clips. Wait till you see the despair here. Castery. And um, I'm in it. this um, studio here Woo! at Cast Studios, and it's... um. I'm going to say this. I used the bathroom twice so far to pee. And that's a guarantee. That's all that happened in there. Ugh. And I'm going to say this. Look at her. Look how she's looking. She's like nervous. She can't look at the camera. She really looks ugly, especially compared to that naked. Yeah. Ooh, I feel good <laughs> from that weed. I'm fucking high, bro. <laughs> I'm high brow is what I meant to say. As far as my comedy is concerned. 
Uh, yeah, she uh, looks like fucking shit, man. I mean, really. And did you see that nude thing she did where she was holding her giant uh, oh, yeah, maracas? Oh, yeah, we about that. Um, but she looked way better in that. This is the real her. Really looking like Grandma Death from Donnie Darko. Let's go to um, 2030. You're going to start seeing there's a lot of really funny, cringe, off-the-mark moments here, which you're going to really appreciate. <laughs> And, of course, there's a big election coming up. I hope you're not voting. I really hope you're not voting. It is lunacy to get out there and vote. In fact, though, I was thinking, how bad are the lines going to be? What's the protocol? I'm not taking a COVID test to fucking vote. But I was thinking, I think maybe this is my one chance. Maybe it would be epic. You tell me. To go and do our duty and write in Kanye West. I don't know. Maybe as a giant Kanye fan, lifelong Kanye fan, he's running for president. He's probably never going to do it again. He's been asking us to write him in. Maybe I do go write him in. I mean, isn't, he's done so much for us. Over you know, the years. Um, I think maybe that's what I should. I would never vote, but maybe that's funnier I than feel not like voting. We would get all excited for voting for Kanye. Yeah. And then the second that we get there, we're going to be like, this sucks. Well, they heard in Kentucky, 40,000 people voted for him. 41% <laughs> of the vote. Can you imagine? What if everyone starts losing their Kanye mind? Kanye found just this like, fake. All writing and Kanye. And we realize like, oh yeah, he sold us those crazy Yeezys that look like a bag. And he convinced us to vote for him somehow. What the fuck? It could be. I mean, I'm thinking about heading to the polls. To vote for Kanye West. And it's actually something that is legit. It's not like writing in Mickey Mouse. This is, he's actually we running. The Kanye 2020 merch already. I got, yeah, the merch I got coming. The is, I hat. hope he sends this before the election. I got the 2020 vision purple hat. And then I got that disgusting, he just writes, go vote <laughs> in impact white letters. It looks awful. His design, he's, lo he's, it's a piece of history. He doesn't know what's, he's like got the all, Alzheimer's. He doesn't know what's going on anymore. I just <laughs> let him, you don't want to get in his way. I mean, he's capable of like killing everybody, I think. If he became president, it would be like North Korea. It would be like <laughs> Kim Jong-un. He would really, he would be so short patient. That's the thing people don't realize about him. He has no pay. He'll be like, mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Okay, I hate this interview now. <laughs> <laughs> like he has no like if you start this is Kanye West hey happy to be here thank you and then you talk for more than one second he's like I see I see how this is gonna be I hate it here I hate it here. we'll be looking back at the Trump <laughs> era cookie, like cookie, cookie, cookie. <sighs> I saw him looking like this for like 40 minutes yesterday. <laughs> and it's not good but then sometimes you see him on uh, Kardashians, you see him so nice. And other times you see him, it's like a different guy. He has ups and downs. Oh, those are some tremendous weird downs. Or ups. Those could be the ups. <laughs> yeah, you can't tell Who am which I to is judge? which. Who am I to judge? But he really is a psychotic. And this is his longest stint. To, usually he's like, goes really psychotic and then puts out some real something so great where you go, oh, he's not crazy. He's not an idiot. But now, like, everything he puts out, it's like, oh, he's a pure idiot now. Like, he's stupid, too. <laughs> like, he's so dumb. He's passionate. No. I, some of the stuff he does is heinously retarded <laughs> and bad in every way. And there's no understanding. I Go back and listen to Jesus is King. We listened to it again Half of the it other is day. I couldn't make a recording on my phone that sounds that bad. You couldn't. <laughs> He like went in and made it sound worse than it had to be. Some of it, it's over the line. <laughs> it's appalling. All right, let's go back to uh, uh thing. But right in Kanye West, what did they say? They like that idea? Oh, I forgot to look. For me? And uh, would you at home write in for Kanye West? They seem excited about the idea. Yeah, would you do that? Are you going to actually vote? Are you a Red Bar listener that's going to actually vote? Think about me when you're in that booth. Think about how I'd roll my eyes at you like a cockroach. Think about you stinking up that booth with your real vote. I can't even imagine. I can't imagine. And you got to be a real sucker if you've let them wire in this story that voting is your, voting is your, 
you're right. This nation was built. You got to uh, ex experience, express your right to vote. Guys, I, it makes way more sense to go, you need to vote for Biden. You need to vote for Biden. You need That makes sense. <laughs> Saying you got to go and vote for Trump. Please go vote for Trump. That makes sense to say, please just go out and vote, bro. I give it a year. Please go out and vote. I had no idea. <laughs> um, that doesn't you just started expelling you know, crumbs. I'll tell you this. In uh, When I started doing the show in 2003, we had something called P. Diddy's Rock the Vote. And I was just as perplexed at that as I am now. I look back to 2003. I've carried none of my, you know, like, uh, you know, these talk radio guys. You got these, like, things, you know. Like uh, one of this is like for me, like, what is this voting thing about? Go vote has been one of my things that has never changed every year. Every time they ask you to go vote and just blindly say go vote. I am just as confused as when I was 21. You would think, OK, that's something I would have learned by now. If there were any other explanation, than no explanation. So I still ask you this. What is the point of Aimlessly telling random people to go vote. You have to go vote without telling them who to vote for. What is this doing? You know, I, the, the easiest, most, uh, you know, on the nose uh, part of it is, you know, they don't know anything about the candidates. So they're just adding a rando vote to, to this. Is this what you want? These 18 year old people that you forced <laughs> to go vote picking the person that's going to decide your stuff. It doesn't bother them. So, um, you know, for, that's insane. And isn't it relative? If 50 people vote, isn't it the same as if 150 people vote and so on and so on and so on? Isn't it? You know, when they do a study, for instance, a medical study, they don't do it on 300 million people. They <laughs> select a small group, like 150 people, and they do the study. And that's conclusive enough to green light shit. Oh, we studied 30 people and 14 of them had results. The other died. It's on the market. So, um, you know, uh, uh, it, it's insane that you would tell more people to vote. What is I understand the politicians saying, go vote, go vote, go vote, because they're saying, come vote for me, come vote for me. That makes perfect sense. But when the celebrities are, please, I beg of you, you must vote. You stupid if you don't. What is there a gun to your bat? Like, are, is somebody paying you to say this? I know they are, but they seem to actually believe this, and people believe this. I remember Trump Hillary. I didn't vote, and half the audience was yelling at me. Literally, me. They were yelling at. Going, well, at least are you they stupid? were yelling at you to not vote for Trump or whatever. Okay. Maybe. Uh, <laughs> I uh, no, but they were um, mad at me for that, and. Um, it even convinces people. There are people now that think they need to vote. I just, if you sit down and for one second, like calm the fuck down and sit down and just ask yourself why. You know, unless you're, uh, you know, involved, unless you have some knowledge about what's going on, what are you doing? Um, I, I need to know what that's about. And I need to know why you think not voting is crazy. I think and you that have they just want to get credit for being political, but then they don't say who you should vote for because they don't want half the is people to be Is that all mad. it is? If that's I all it is, that we're that it. behind? That's I'm that ahead of everybody that people are still stuck <laughs> in that thing, that, that they're that crazy? I think that that must be what that it is. That they're doing it just for how they look? Yes. That's nuts. I mean, I thought we were beyond doing things just for how we look. No, of course not. That's crazy. That's crazy. Maybe that's like ninety eight percent of it. Well, I, to me, I've gone over this, and like I've said, I've given it some fair time since I was twenty years old. I asked, "Why are you telling me to go vote? If I'm not interested, I'm not interested." Well, now you have a reason to. And no, no, no. Every year, this is wrapping it up. Every year, I've reassessed, and I still have the same question. So, somebody's goofy. <laughs> somebody's goofy. This year makes sense. Kanye West. Uh, it makes perfect sense. You know, Kanye West is what I want to say to these people. Oh, yeah, you want me to vote? Okay, I'll vote for Kanye West. Here. <laughs> That's, I mean, it basically sums up exactly what they've put.
pushed me to do. <laughs> you want trouble? You thought Trump was bad? Wait till you meet brother Kanye. <laughs> he has tremendous ups and downs. Sometimes he throws weights at people in his home gym. And uh, so, good luck. He's on a journey. President Kanye West. All right, would you like to see Sarah Silverman's take on politics? We're going to go to 2030. Now, this is so funny. Imagine a woman who is just at her wit's end. Imagine like the mom from Wequiem for a Dream when she was just a chattering, schizophrenic nut afraid of the refrigerator. Remember from all the pill usage? But Sarah Silverman doesn't take pills. Well, maybe she takes pills to battle her real sickness, um, which is she's disgusting. All right, let's see. 2030, I've met Sarah Silverman in person, Todd Glass. Did you get her autograph? I did not. Um, <laughs> she was a bitch. Okay, uh, I want you to show, I want to showcase her attitude here. It's sick. And I want to showcase this little leg here. That Oh, did they freeze it with dry ice? Is it going to shatter if you flick it? No, that's her real leg. It's not healthy. It's mostly a bone. Okay. Look at her face. Doesn't she start? Everybody keeps saying aunt. She reminds me of my aunt. You hear a lot of people around the world. Yeah. Does anyone have a shitty aunt? She's got shitty aunt syndrome going on. <laughs> where she's just a bitch, a motherfucker. All right, listen to this. This is strange. How it is. Where he has to fuck with the fucking male. I mean, Look at this. you know, you see QAnon and shit and they're crazy conspiracy theories and you go, I can't believe people believe this shit. It's so insane. Then you go, but the truth sounds like a crazy conspiracy theory. The president's fucking with the U.S. mail to try to keep from people from voting. Sounds like an insane conspiracy theory. It just happens to be true. That's the gaslighting of all of this. Whoa. It's bananas. <laughs> It's bananas. Uh, no, that's the name of Leslie Jones's new show. This fall on ABC. <laughs> that is intolerable, Your Honor. Uh, you know, even in the in the liberal Democrat. What's this? Democrat. That's a good one for the Republicans. Look, she's so deranged. If you're right? listening, that's a good one. They're on Democrat. Ooh, <laughs> do you see what I mean? She's like. She's so lost. And do you understand what I mean? Yes. It's very subtle comedy happening here. She's just like, mm, yeah, and they probably think we're the Democrats. So, oh, the Democrats. Oh, I can see them now. You know, it's but like. She has like no hint of irony. No. Look at her. Said. I mean, look at her. She's biting her fist. Like she's real. This isn't like a put on. Like she's really having a tough time here. And like even she gets mad at her own ideas and guesses. She's like. <laughs> Democrats, they'd probably call us that. Oh my God, they would probably call us this pieces of shit. They called us Democrats. <laughs> and then you're like, Sarah, do you need CCs of something shot into your neck? <laughs> do we have the sound? Is there a shot, a sound of a shot? <laughs> we could have other shot. We gotta calm her down. These sound bites are getting very subtle. You Sarah really Silverman listen. is the type of woman that would deny needing to be locked up in a mental institute. Kicking and screaming all night. When will you learn, Sarah? There's nowhere to go. Democrat. Watch. That's a good one for the Republicans. Look at her. If you're listening, that's a good one. Ooh, she's fuming. They're on Democrat. Um, oh, she's so mad. She's like, yeah, that's what they're going to say about us, motherfuckers. We're going to get you this season at the game. I mean, the election. <laughs> Look at this. This is destroyed. This person. And I you know, know what's so funny? They call it Trump derangement syndrome. It's kind of fitting. You know, Tim Heidecker, same exact level. I mean, identically went same kind of. I'm a comedian. He, was, he wasn't even kind of an edgy comedian in his time. Same with Sarah. And they both, it just consumes them till they turn. They're not them anymore. You know, they their hearts go dark or something. Like, I only watched this first right? episode, but she doesn't talk about any other aspects of her personality or anything. Just no. like everything. I, to she's her been is consumed. Just she's Twitter completely topics. destroyed. And it's almost like they need, it's almost like when your blood goes bad. We need to rush you. We need to get your blood a transfusion here. You're sick. And uh, 
they have identical her and Tim Heidecker. I'm trying to think who else experiences the same kind of where they're just so <laughs> depressed and negative and beaten down. They're not you can't recognize them anymore. There's nothing left. It's just this Trump and how disgusting he is. Right. And uh, there's a real thing. You're witnessing it here. Look at her face. And this is one of the good parts. Look at her face. This is what you've become. This is it. This is sad. Some people are at home crying. Look at you. You're gone. You're gone. Shh. Good night. It is sad. It's like seeing <laughs> someone off with after that last clump of dirt uh, gets thrown over the coffin. That's really it. Watch Even this. in the Democratic Party, in the you know, the choice they made it was very conservative. Biden, Biden's, you know, I'm. S- Fucking will be so happy if Biden. Okay, hold on. That's not even bad. We're going to go to 2245. <laughs> we picked out some of her I most. I just picked out like dreary, random parts where she seemed very upset. Where she seemed mostly upset. This is uh, where she's upset. We like that. There's just something so thrilling about Mrs. Confidence here just being taken and fucked in the ass by someone else's life, you know? Uh, let's see. Uh, what was it? 2245? Yeah. This is going to be good. Um, let's see what this is. Ooh. I can't remember what yeah, any of I don't these know. are. But look at it. Fa- I mean, but... look at this. Does this look inviting? 3,000 people have watched this, including you guys now. So this is your biggest audience yet. Let's see. People are losing their shit. Could you imagine being black in this country? Whoa. If you're black, then yes. But if you're not, then no. Whoa. You have to understand what you don't understand. Oh my God. This is like the most biggest bitch that I've ever. This is the bossiest, bitchiest bitch. I don't really even see her as bitchy anymore. Really? She's like past the point to like, I just, I'm like, you don't have Are to you do ca- this. If she it's made like, this face at me. Like more sad comes to mind than bitch. If someone me. acted like this, I'd literally like fucking run. Like, I wouldn't, <laughs> this is scarier to me than Trump. Trump is at least nice. You know he's gonna, not going to hurt you. This could hurt you. This is <laughs> scary. You want to see some more? This gets very twisted. Okay, she's seething, right? She's, like, you can see, like, the walls around her are, like, turning into, like, Silent Hill getting covered with black larva and <laughs> swirling hellfire. Like, she's creating such a negativity that the city's like gone (laughs) cold and it's snowing ash. You know, like she's brewing. There's like, she's turned LA, LA is dark and there's a big twister outside of this window wiping through the hills. That's what this is like, Maleficent. This is how Maleficent started, I imagine. I've never seen the movie, I wanted to see it. At the beginning of the movie, it starts out, well, how did Maleficent become this evil witch? Okay. And then they show her here, or maybe even the witch from Power Rangers. You want to watch Maleficent tonight? I would like to. Yeah, I would like to. I love Angelina Jolie. <laughs> it's a date. Um, yeah, this is how Rita Repulsar got started. They go, was she always like a mystical evil lord? No, <laughs> you start here, and then you get madder and madder and madder until you become villain, which is quite close to where Sarah's at. Let's see. If you're black, then yes. But if you're not, then no. I hate that word black. You have to understand what you don't understand. Meanwhile, we watch John Wick. Wait, is it pro black community or anti black community to go, oh, that word black. I hate that word. You could probably spin it either way. Isn't that something? I hate the word black. You should try that out on people as a prank. Yeah, and then they'll be like, what? You hate blacks? I'll go, no, I hate that somebody would just refer to them as blacks. They're human beings. <laughs> Ugh, I hate the word black. I despise it. We can try that one out I when we're hate in the voting line. African American, the phrase. I love the people. I want a better phrase for them. That's what I'm saying. So I hate African American as a phrase. Is that allowed? To yell. All right, check out how Sarah's acting. And completely understand a guy going fucking crazy and murdering wow. a million people because his dog got killed. 
Who's that? Are you fucking kidding me? Ooh, if you have to go, are you fucking kidding me? You're at wit's end. Look at this. Look at this. Are you kidding me? I mean, this is any doctor would go, guys, she needs help, right? Yeah. People because what? his dog got killed. Are you fucking kidding me? Ooh. I mean, really? Her <laughs> friends, shame on your friends. She needs to be kidnapped and taken. <laughs> not kidnapped in a kidnapped bad way. Kidnapped and taken to like a cabin, a, like a Bert's cabin. cabin. Yeah. Really? Relaxation. You need some time in the sun. You live in the sun and you look like Richard Lewis. Have a little. Try to have some Terrible. empathy if you can't imagine how horrible, how challenging, how fucking frustrating it must be. At least accept that you can't imagine it. Wow. But there's a lot of evidence all over the place. Maybe you can't imagine being black. I've been imagining that since I was a kid. Who's the racist now? You've never even imagined being black. <laughs> I imagine being black every day. Yo, what up, bitch? And stealing. <laughs> Yo, what up, nigga? And shooting. Yeah. Who's the real racist? You won't even imagine being black. You can't because you never have. I have since I was one. I imagined rowing. And being with, oh I imagined all the most historic black scenes in my head over and over and over again. I have a great understanding of the black community. You have none. Got her there. Gotcha. <laughs> all right, let's hear uh, just a little bit more. On video Ooh, of she's so people being mad. murdered by police. Now, if you look at the etymology of police in America, it was... They were basically formed to um, keep freed slaves, protect white people's property from freed slaves. So, you know, listen, some good places have ra have racist etymology. Planned Parenthood's etymology is, ah. is one of her favorite stores. <laughs> Let's see. Twenty nine thirty. Just real quick one. Stay strong. She's going to say. Oh, this is a good one. Twenty nine thirty. This will be a good finale. And Sarah, I'm so sorry you're going through this. You should look into um, like a retirement, a nursing home, you know, for your last days. Let's see what she does here. It does not look right. Is it because he loves Donald Trump? Absolutely not. Is it because he thinks I'm beautiful and loves me? Probably. <sighs> Which is interesting. One, I like that we disagree. Wait, I think you got... You went too far. Oh. 2930. Okay. 2930. Let's see if I could uh, try this again here. Okay, let's try this. But then I have to ask, why do I love this guy? Oh, wait. There's okay, you got to go back farther. I must okay. put in the wrong time code. Go back like 20 seconds. There we go. Let's see what happens here. But then I don't want to have kids and then make them fly coach while I'm in first class. I'd have to fly coach, I guess. Jesus. Just to raise kids that aren't cunts. <laughs> um, Was that it? No. Okay. Should we hear another call? So I understand you. Oh, she's taking a call. Ooh, yeah. Do you see this face she just made? You talking to me? I'll fuck you up. What'd you just say? She got attitude, bro. Um, so she's going to take a call. It jump cuts to a crazy call. I can't even imagine what we're about to hear. Um, should we hear another call? So I understand you don't like Donald Trump, oh. but I still think you are one of the funniest human beings and beautiful. Stay strong. What? Stay strong. <laughs> oh, God, look at her face. She's a pop. I love this guy. Oh. Is she furious? I love this guy. But then I have to ask, why do I love this guy? There's There can only be two reasons. Is it because he loves Donald Trump? Absolutely not. Is it because he thinks I'm beautiful and loves me? Probably. Which is interesting. One, I like that we disagree across the board on everything politically, clearly. But he still can like me. He still can love me. <laughs> we never saw her again after this. She's missing. <laughs> She's missing. All right, Sarah Silverman. Quite a fun podcast. 
even playing that on a show turns the show too chilling. Yes. You know what I mean? That's too dark. That's like playing Trayvon Martin's Mother's Screams <laughs> as a song. <laughs> Sarah Silverman, get some help, bro. You are fucked. Man, oh man. All right, what do we got next for this?